Hi everyone. I'm so glad that you are able to watch me today. Uh, today we are going to talk about David. Um, David was a kid in the Bible. He one day grows up to be a king, but in this particular story, it is um, David and his sheep. And so um, our memory verse for today is Psalms 23.1. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So we're going to learn about David and his sheep. Now, if you were here, you would definitely be helping me put these things on the board. Uh, but I hope you enjoy. Okay, so David was the youngest of seven sons. Can you imagine having six brothers or sisters? That's a lot of kids, right? So David was the youngest of seven sons belonging to Jesse. Since he was the youngest, I'm the youngest, I don't know about you, um, but since he was the youngest, he had to uh, be the shepherd boy. His, um, he had three brothers who were in Saul's army fighting the Philistines, and we'll learn about that in a couple stories from now, so uh, check that out if you're able to. David was worried when he thought that something might happen to them. He wondered why people had to fight and kill each other, which is not fun. Uh, all David took when he went to go take care of his sheep was a leather bag, his rod uh, to defend the flock, and his staff and his sling. So today we have the staff and we have his sling. Uh, we're just going to lay that down for right now. But you're probably wondering, um, where are all his sheep? So let's put his sheep on his, on the board. Oh, I dropped a sheep. Alright, we got a lot of sheep over here. Um, and they're just going to be like everywhere. You guys count all of these sheep like there's a lot of them huh so Jesse owned these sheep that's David's father and David had to take care of them so David also took his dog who always helped him herd his sheep um, David took his sling so that he could practice shooting from far away. And he, he never forgot his harp. And I have that harp. Set that down. He practiced and learned to play really well. And later he would play for King Saul when he got discouraged. David was a good shepherd. He loved his sheep and they loved him. He would come and would come when he called. So imagine that. Just like your mom or your dad uh, says your name and you come running. It happened with David too. David called the sheep and they would come running. Every sheep had a name. So just like you have a name, every sheep had a name. And when the shepherd called, they would come running, just like I said. David learned that sheep were very timid and needed lots of care. The shepherd has to find grass for them to eat. You think, I think they have, a, they have enough grass, right? 
David was really good about this. He was able to find sheep for all the many sheep that he had to take care of each day. He also learned that sheep will not drink if the water is running, even if they're thirsty. So he has to take rocks and put them in a, in a pool, make a pool of water for them to drink so that it's still. Sheep also get insects and birds in their wool and the shepherd has to keep them clean. If a sheep gets on its back, okay, crazy, right? So everybody get on your back right now. You on your back? Okay. So the shepherd has to come over and flip all of his sheep back on their feet. Isn't that crazy? They can't roll over by themselves. You know, like your maybe your dog or your cat can roll over, but a sheep can't. One day, the lion came to pick his meal from one of David's lambs. Okay. Look at that lion. He is so ready to grab one of those lambs. Lions and bears always hunt little lambs. One day, a lion came and got a lamb. David immediately ran after the lion, grabbed it by its mane, and killed it and saved the lamb. How thankful that little lamb must have been to have such a kind and loving shepherd. Another time, a bear got one of the lambs. Oh my goodness. David fought the bear and killed it and saved the lamb. Although David was strong, he knew that God would help him kill the lion and the bear. Sometimes when a sheep, the sheep were grazing quietly, David would sit under a tree and play his harp. That's how he called his harp. He wrote many songs and psalms while he was taking care of his sheep. He thought a lot about God and that is why he wrote many psalms about God and Jesus. We sometimes sing David's songs in church. The most favorite psalm is Psalm 23. Lots of people uh, like this psalm and it tells about Jesus being our good shepherd. He takes care of us wherever we are. We are Jesus's lambs. He loves us and knows every one of our names and where we live. He sends his angels to watch over us while we are working and playing and when we are sleeping. Now, I'm glad that Jesus is our shepherd, aren't you? Now, grab a Bible and read Psalms 23. It talks about how, how David writes about how Jesus is our good shepherd.